On today's video we're going to be showing you how to complete a 6G TIG route using 2.4 ER70S welding wire using 85 amps. So we started this off by tacking it up and putting something in that's known as root tacks. These are tacks that have been ground out and thinned so that when we come over them with our TIG welding torch it allows us to fuse them into the root and keep the consistency of that root run. So as you can see here we're coming up that joint overhead. So what's happening is gravity is trying to pull us down consistently. So we're trying to keep that wire in there to ensure that we keep enough material going into that root run. Because if we don't, the weld will be under flush with no reinforcement. So now we've got over welding underneath, we're now welding up the side. So now we're going to change to a keyhole welding technique. What we do with this is we add wire to each side of the welding prep, making sure to be consistent with our dips. If we put too much wire in, we will have excess penetration in the root. We have however got to be careful with this keyhole and control it all the way down. We can't have it getting too big, because if we do we risk having a flat root, or worse, overheating your prep edges, making your root really really wide and destroying your prep. So as you can see from this footage we are actually penetrating through the other side. We've done this by being consistent in how much wire we add to each side of that prepped edge. The sole purpose of this run is to make sure we get enough reinforcement going through the other side of the pipe. 6G is the industry standard weld test. It's used because you have to weld in every single position. It's one of the hardest welds to do because you have to be competent in every single welding position which is why it's used extensively around the world to test welders skills. So we've now completed the left hand side. We're going to switch going up the right hand side of the pipe. We're going to be using the same technique as we did the left hand side, keeping a constant dip in formation going into that welding pool. If you can weld both left handed and right handed this joint will be a hell of a lot easier and this side would be the one that you go up left handed so you don't have to go up the joint cross handed like this. So as we come towards the top of the joint this is where the welding gets slightly easier that's because we're welding in the PA or flat position. However we do have to be careful because our speed will not be the same as coming up the side of the joint we will be moving slightly quicker and what we're looking to do as we come towards the end of this joint is we're going to go a quarter of an inch over the previous weld this is to make sure that the joints marry up as you fuse into the end of that top run and if you've done this correctly and consistently the whole way around the joint your root will look like this so on this tutorial we showed you how to complete the root run if you'd like to see the fully completed 6G joint with all the runs on it click on the video you can see on the screen now don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment if you find this helpful <laughs> 